y'all. I am making some homemade peanut butter today, and I want to show you how hard it is to make it. It's going to take two minutes and 20 seconds. I'm just going to pour my nuts in. So I'll come around and turn it on, and then I'll try to speed up the speed of the video. So you, I know it's not but two and a half minutes or two minutes and 20 seconds, but I don't want you to have to watch this blender. It's boring, I know. But the only ingredient in peanuts is, guess what? Peanuts. There's no added anything other than peanuts. So I bought the unsalted peanuts. So I'm going to add a half teaspoon of salt in the blender. Now you'll see me when it starts going, I will remove this lid and it comes with a tamper. And this blender is very powerful. So as it cooks, these nuts are going to probably try to fly up because they're lightweight with the power of this motor. So what you'll see me doing is pushing them back down until they start grinding real well and then you don't have to do that anymore. So I'll be back on as soon as it's done. Let me get it started for you. Whoa. I'm okay. <laughs> I dropped my tamper. All right, y'all. Um, I've got it on grind, two minutes, 20 seconds. Let me tilt it down so you can see and let's go. done and I'm going to slide the blender over and just take the top piece off so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to remove the lid. This makes the absolute best peanut butter you could ever ever ask for and I won't keep you on to pour it all out but I have a mason jar and I normally just pour it right in my mason jar and again I'll stop because when it's pouring out, I use this long skinny scraper and go around and get all of it out. So I'll sit that over to the side. Um, one thing I love about this is we can make different, you can use almonds, you can use peanuts. Uh, I have done sunflower seeds and you can also add chocolate chips into this and make your own Nutella like chocolate peanut butter. So on peanut butter, I was out, so I had bought a Walmart brand jar because my grandchildren love peanut butter, but it has um, the contents that you will see, the ingredients, but below the ingredients, you will also see, and that's where they hide a lot of things. When you learn to read those labels, you'll find a lot of hidden things. So it has peanuts, it has sugar, it has hydrogenated vegetable oil, it has cottonseed oil, soybean oil, uh, rap, rap seed oil, salt, molasses, which is another sugar, and several ingredients that I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I, I would smear them. I can't do it. So making your own peanut butter is easy to do. It is going to need refrigeration because there's no additive, no processed uh, ingredients in here like in store-bought peanut butter. No extra additives to make it stay solid and safe at room temperature. So I do keep mine stored in the refrigerator and it thickens very, very nicely and it spreads easily. So that is how easy it is to cook your own peanut butter. It's so simple, two and a half minutes. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Have a great night, bye-bye.